Some of the projects that I'm really excited to see uh, in Bayzone is uh, our immersion camp, uh, language immersion, and bringing our elders and the children and families up there to enjoy the space and uh, learn, you know, our language and the natural environment. <laughs> that was Charlie. He's four and a half years old. He is half Bruno Wapskeg and Korean. I think it's important for Charlie to know where he comes from, from where his ancestor land is, and for him to learn his language so that he he is grounded. We're learning together as family. The language program for myself was uh, just a summer back when I was 15. I became an apprentice and I've grown into a, uh, an instructor in uh, Penobscot language. There's all the old fluent speakers that spoke just our dialect um, have passed on, but we have a new uh, group of people reviving our language. Up there, we have Buzzy Dump Gig. It's actually Pasadumpkig, which means over the gravel bar. And so all these place names are all along this river and all around this uh, state and this region. That's another way for us to be able to explore our land is to keep our uh, place names alive. You can build up our uh, cultural identity again. I've understood that uh, the, the strengthening of our languages again have uh, lowered uh, rates of suicide and children do better in the education system. And that's what we really want to bring to Nubizum is that we can have this communal space uh, to strengthen our bonds and uh, healthy living and how to uh, take care of ourselves and have respect for our surroundings and the environment. Nibi is water, you know, they say water is life, and that's our first medicine. This is, uh, we call it a Sawaptahigan, and uh, it was just a gift to me, and uh, something that uh, my great-grandfather used to always sing. They told me every time he'd sing around, he'd just use a rattle. I actually do uh, songs with the daycare uh, on the island of my older brother brought me around the drum and I started to learn the big drum songs and then later we started to learn our older songs. This song was a canoe song or a paddling song that my great grandfather sang. It would help you get along on a long paddle. It might be hard or you might be tired and so it's kind of a way to, to sing along down the river. Yahoo, yo, 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 y